Hi, it's Adrian, and welcome back. I went out shopping and I found some stocking stuffers and I found this red lipstick for two dollars and I thought that I had made a major score. So uh, if you'd like to hear about it, please stay tuned and we're going to get started and into it right now. And as far as what I have on for my base today, the Super Goop Glow Oil and SPF 50. Did go ahead and use a True Match by uh, L'Oreal. This is the new reformulated one in C 2.5. What I forgot today was I wanted to pick this up in Cool uh, 1 or Cool 1.5, but that didn't quite happen because I got shopping and I really enjoy shopping, and so things didn't go quite as planned. But yeah, it worked okay. So as far as what I have on the cheeks, like I said, today was supposed to be our shopping day. So I wasn't really doing a full face, but I did use the Sunset Strip. And this is the blush. It's a cream blush. Um, I actually put it on with my fingers. And I actually really like this. Um, I didn't like their liquid blush that much, but these I think have... Uh, some really pretty color and it stays and it's great to put as a base and then put another one on top of it. As far as what I did today, I did go ahead and use the ColourPop um, Out of Quartz on the top of this as a highlighter and then I also threw in some of the Catrice and this is the Supreme Rose Beam. So I really have two highlighters on there with it. And I think I'm going to put on a little bit more of this. And so, yeah, there it is with a little bit more highlighter. I really didn't use a bronzer today. Like I said, I wasn't planning on doing anything but doing some window shopping today. And ah, things got a little bit out of hand. And I'm dropping things. And yes, I do need to clean off the top of this desk. But what fell down is actually this really pretty red. And this is a baby gloss by Relove Revolution. This one's in Babe. And it's the only thing that I have on. And it has a lot of color to it. If you need a holiday red for an outfit and you don't want to spend $40 on a high-end lip color, this one may work for you. And I just, uh, it just fell to the ground from the desk and it survived without getting, without having any problems. So it's a tough little bugger as well. So um, again, this is called Babe and this is by The Relove by Revolution. You can get this in Walmart. And if you need a Christmas red, I think it will probably do the trick for you. And um, and they're two dollars. They are two dollars. And I have a whole bunch of these baby glosses that I've really enjoyed. Um, this one is in Sweet, and I've had it for a couple of months, and I haven't used it all up yet. And they have a lot of color payoff. So yeah, it's a good formula. It's all nice and uh, moisturizing. So yeah. Definitely recommend these. They have a whole ton of colors. I also got one called um, let's see, Wonder. And so this is actually one that's brown. But yeah, they have a whole bunch of fun ones. They also have what they call a lip tint or um, a baby tint. And the baby tints here, I have one over here. This one is in Fuchsia. And so with the baby tints, they can go on your cheeks and on your lips. So you can kind of get a monochromatic look. Um, but they'll be right next to the baby glosses. And they're in the same packaging. So be sure to read. Um, it's really easy to be wanting to get a gloss and pick up a tint or be wanting to get a tint and pick up a gloss. So be sure to, you know, read the print on there because I have done that too. But actually this, I, I'm really liking this color. It's very, very red. And then as far as the eyes go, I did go ahead and mix 
a palette and I used to do a series where I put palettes together that I thought would go really well as far as complementary palettes and I kind of ended up with that again today. So what I ended up with was using the All Amethyst palette and the Cloud 9 palette. Both of these are by Colourpop. Uh, Cloud 9 you can get on the Colourpop website and at Ulta and the All Amethyst you can get at Ulta and on the Colourpop website as well. So yeah, I don't think either one of these is over at Target but as far as what I did today was that I used uh, the All Amethyst palette to go ahead and do the um, the darker shade on the outer corner. Well, actually, I did go ahead and use this one in the crease. I used this one right above the crease to blend it out. And then I did go ahead and use a little bit of this one um, right on the inner corner. And I went ahead and used this one, which is called Royal Affair. And I put that in the outer corner. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more in because this has actually been on since what, I've been out shopping for a couple of hours and so yeah, let's go ahead and we'll just add a little bit more in there. This really pretty red purple the one right next to it is a blue purple and they're really fun um, but this gives you a whole nother way to use the all Amethyst palette which came out last year around the holidays and then I did go ahead and add in a whole bunch of these colors so uh, this white the shiny white I did go ahead and put on the inner corner as well and it's probably what you see yeah it's definitely it has the shimmer so yeah and then this color over here looks like a gray nothing color but it really does have a lot of blue in it and it's pigmented but it's a light blue pigment and then um, if you go ahead and put the blue shimmer on top you get a lot of bang for your buck and with these I think that um, it's kind of doing that winter that light blue, wintry blue, uh, sort of, I would call it kind of a snow color, but you blend these two together, and I'm really liking what it's doing. It's really brightening my eye and making it pop, and at the same time, I'm getting a lot of glitter in there as well. So this one, even though it looks more like a taupe in the pan, here um, it definitely comes off as a blue-gray. And then this one is a blue, light blue shimmer. And it's really, it's just causing the whole eye look to pop. And it's really pretty. And I've done it several different ways. In fact, I've gone ahead and used this taupe color um, on the you know on uh, my brow bone and then gone ahead and used this combination as well and it's just really pretty it really brightens everything up so if you want to put two palettes together I would definitely suggest putting these two together and this one is sort of one that kind of got overlooked when it first came out and it's only been out for like a month now but it has some really good shimmer shades in it that um, are really light. They have a lot of pearl in them. And if you want something that's going to pop, these shades are the kind of shades that are going to uh, brighten everything up and just make it look real pretty, real pretty. And so I did get some other stuff too. I'm not really a big uh, perfume person. In fact, I it's just I find the whole thing of perfume a little bit intimidating and then you start looking at the prices of some of them and I'm like oh, no but I found something this year and so um, do dossier that's how I would pronounce it and if I'm butchering it I'm sorry um, but they came up with a three pack a sampler pack and so this one that I picked up has Ambery saffron, ambery vanilla, and floral marshmallow. Uh, the ambery saffron is a dupe 
for the MFK's Baccarat, and the Embry Vanilla is um, a dupe for the uh, YSL's Black Opium. Floral Marshmallow is a dupe for By Killian's Love, Don't Be Shy. And so that's what I went ahead and picked up. They cost um, $30 for the sample pack, and it looks like you get 75 mils. So, I mean, you get a nice big sample of these. These are, you know, how they're, that's what, yeah. Let me double check. Yeah, it says, no, it says 73 milliliters. So, I mean, that's a nice big sample size. And you get three uh, for $30. This might be fun to go ahead and break up and do as a stocking stuffer. And, um, you know, you could, each of these would be, what work out to be about $10 a piece. So you could go ahead and put it, um, them in stockings or a secret Santa. If you want to go ahead and break these up, you could go ahead and put in some baby glosses and um, a perfume and, you know, do up a whole little, a uh, whole little secret Santa kind of fun packet uh, things that people don't necessarily have and they can try out something new by having, you know, perfume. And I guess you would probably only want to do that if you knew people well and you knew what they liked. But, you know, it's I think it's fun just to try something a little bit new. It's something that since I don't know very much about perfume and I know dossier that um dossier dossier um i i've heard of this company and so this is what walmart has as far as the holiday kit and like i said it is thirty dollars but they have uh three different kits or three different sets with three different sets of fragrance in them and I thought just to go ahead and try something since I am somebody who doesn't really know top note, middle note, and bottom notes and that kind of thing that I can try them out and see if I like them. And uh, there are some similar sets to this over at Target as well uh, with some of the different uh, dupe or perfume dupe uh, groups that they carry. So there are a whole bunch of these out this year, and I thought they just sounded like fun. So that's what I got there. I did also go ahead and pick up a candle when I was over at Walmart. I think these kind of get overlooked, and they do have a whole bunch of uh, holiday scents. It's a three-wick candle. They're only like $4 a piece. This one is Alpine Forest, and it has herbal citrus and uh, red cedar in it, and smells really good. But, you know, if you want to go ahead and do a budget stocking stuffer or, again, a, a, a secret Santa gift or something, these are, um, they're nice, and they've got some half to them and a nice glass jar, and so, yeah. I think that this is another good way to go, especially if you don't know the person real well, but you know that they like the holidays and something like this, and they can always exchange something like this for... There were some cute ones. There was some of the candy cane and some of the hazelnuts and pumpkin and some different um, smells. So I thought this was another fun one. And um, other than that, I think that's everything that I have on today. And like I said, if you do need a, a real, real red for the holidays, this might really work for you. Again, it's the Baby Gloss by Relove Revolution, and it's in Babe. So that's my haul. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I really enjoyed doing the haul and doing the video. And yes, I did touch up my makeup. So um, actually today, like I said, I didn't put bronzer on. I didn't put uh, powder, finishing powder or anything on. I really wasn't going to film at all. But I found some fun stuff. And so, yeah. Um, so filming became an absolute need. And so, I again, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you later. Bye.